Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Um, lovely to see you here live for today's uh, webinar. Um, my name is Sarah Thompson, and I am your host for our monthly content planning webinar. And today, we're going to be talking all things December content planning. So welcome to today's class. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Um, today's workshop is being recorded and um, Business Station will send it out to you as well as putting a recording of it on their YouTube channel as well. So if you go to YouTube, type in Business Station, you'll be able to find the recording there also. Um, there is a workbook for today's webinar, um, which you should have already received. Can everyone just confirm in the chat that they've got the workbook, just so I can check that I know it was sent out to you. Yes, thanks, Beck. <laughs> awesome. You don't have it. Okay. I will just pop it in the chat. All right, it's there for you. So um, if you don't have a copy, I've just popped it in the chat. So you're all good to use that. Ideally, you want it printed out, but if not, um, you can work through it and just have a pen and paper ready for today. Um, if you have some questions, please ask as we're going. I will keep my eye on the chat as I'm speaking. Um, but just to kind of let you know, um, in truth, <laughs> Today's webinar is really about you doing all the hard work. I am here just to facilitate it and to help you get going, but you will be doing all of the hard work and heavy lifting because it's all about you planning your content, um, but I'm here to help, so just rest assured. Um, if you haven't met me before, hi, I'm Sarah Thompson. I'm the owner and founder of Online Social Butterfly. I have been a specialist trainer and advisor with Business Station for the last three and a half years on the ASBAS program. Um, I've been running my own company for nearly 12 years, so 12 years in digital and another 15 in corporate marketing and communications. If you'd like to connect with me, you're most welcome to do so. Um, you can find me at Online Social Butterfly on Facebook and Instagram if you want to reach out and connect. I'd love to hear how you get on after today's class and particularly in relation to that content planning. Just having a quick check that this session is being recorded. Yes, good, sorry. I'd hate to get to the end and it wasn't. All right, so we're going to start with page one of the workbook. So at each um, juncture, there's always a page number on the slide for you to keep you going. Um, and I will put up a timer as well to make it nice and easy. So the first thing I love to do at the end of the month is to review um, how things have gone on my social media. So that page one of your workbook is just a guide. You might like to track different numbers and different stats. Um, you can find insights on Meta Business Suite um, and you can change it to insights for the last 28 days. If you want to do Facebook and Insta, if you want to do other social media, you're welcome to do that too. What we're trying to look at is have we... Have we worked on things? Have it, has it improved? That's what we're really looking to see. So I'm going to set the timer for five minutes for this first activity. Um, I will mute myself and turn off my camera for those five minutes so as not to distract you also, and then I'll come back in when we're about to get started on the next session.
Okay, so that's something I definitely like to do every month is just track my data to see how things are going. Now, this slide is the most important slide of today's webinar because what I want you to do is think about what do you want to focus in on your business for the month of December? So here's the reality of social media. Um, our followers don't see all of our content all of the time. So what's really important and what we want to do is give them the opportunity to really see our content and make sure they see it lots and lots. So I always stress that it's a great idea to have a single theme, a single idea, a single promotion, a single offer for a, a, for a calendar month just for ease. So what I want you to think about is during the month of December, what would you like to be promoting in your business? And I want you to think about that really clearly because we don't want to be promoting everything, but we want to focus in on one thing that we think would be most helpful for our audience. So I'm going to give you five minutes for this and I want you to think about the following. What will your theme be? What will you be promoting and what needs to be included? So if my theme was going to be like, a let's say, a Christmas content webinar, I need to make sure I put in the dates for the webinar. I need to make sure I put a link for it. So I want you to take five minutes and really flesh out and kind of write down what do you want to say. So really take that time to plan it out.
Okay. So the rest of what we're going to be working on today is going to be really heavily focused on that one theme for the month. So, um, you know, just keep in mind that all of the content that we're going to create is going to focus in on that. A couple of questions that have just popped up. I'm going to reply to them when I get everyone started. So we're now going to move on to page three of the workbook. Now, each one of these questions we're going to take four minutes for. So please don't rush ahead because remember this one hour that we're going to spend on content planning will allow us to create more time in the month ahead. So the more time you spend on each question, the easier it's going to be. So the first question is, and I love using this as content because I want you to think about what does somebody need to know before they buy from you? So who are you? Why are you different? Tell us about your services, a little bit of background. What makes this product a great fit for them? Why you? Okay, so this is something we often don't think about sharing. So I'm going to give you four minutes for that and I'm going to answer everyone's questions in the chat. Okay, so that's question number one down. Now with question number two, this is something that 
Um, I like I have to be honest, like I'm meant to be a marketing expert myself. And I so often do this is I forget to, to think about my audience and I think about why I'm selling something. So think about your audience and what is the problem that this offer or this package or whatever it is you're doing for December solves for them. So think about why do they need to buy and what problem does it solve? So where are they right now? And I really want you to get inside their head and think about this. All right, I'm going to pop that up now for four minutes. Okay, we're now going to move on to question number three. And this is really, really important because whenever we're doing any marketing of anything in our business, this is what good marketing looks like. And this is what we're working through at the moment is what is the problem that you solve, which is that before state? What is the transformation that you create, which is what we talked about on the last page? And then what is the happy outcome? Like, what does it look like when they have success? So I want you to think about if your customer buys this product or service, what does it feel like on the end of that? Like not when they purchase it, like hopefully they don't feel nervous, hopefully they feel excited. 
but think about how does it feel once you have solved that problem for them. So I want you to think about the language that they use, the words that they use, and I want you to articulate and write that down for question number three. Okay, so the last question on this page is something that we often get confronted with by our audience and we often don't address it or know how to address it. So what I want you to do is think about when you put this in front of your audience, what are the objections that you get? So um, I'm going to use, since someone mentioned my Black Friday offer, I have a Black Friday course to teach you how to build Black Friday. I've actually got it on sale at the moment. And so one of the objections that I might get is that I don't have an offer to create. And so I could respond to that and say, this course would teach you how to create an offer. So there's those kind of very specific objections that you might have. So think about if someone says, but I'm not ready, that's a really good objection. And I want you to think about where they're at in terms of readiness. The other major objection that people give us is time and money. Now, 
you know, those are things that I want you to think about how you answer, but I want you to think about them very specifically. So, for example, if someone says, um, I don't have time and they want to buy that, so that Black Friday course, my response to that would be, when you purchase this course, you get lifetime access. It means you don't have to have time right now. So I want you to think about, don't just write time and money in this box. Think about um, how you can help people in terms of overcoming those objections um, and how you can answer those. So this is why we really want to take that time. So I'm going to hit the timer for four minutes and get you to think about it. Keep your questions coming because I'm popping them in the chat. Some of you ask me questions privately, which is lovely. Um, and I'm happy to respond either privately or publicly. So keep them flowing through because that's why you're here live. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to consider 
um, some very specific content ideas that relate for, to your theme for the month ahead. So again, we're going to take three minutes for each one of these. Um, and again, don't rush through it. So the first one is a testimonial that maybe relates specifically to your offer or your product or your theme. And if not, I want you to have a quick look on your Google and Facebook reviews to find a testimonial that relates to your business or your or yourself as your services um, generally. But the idea is to go and have a quick squiz now. So three minutes for the testimonials task. Okay, so for the next idea, I want you to have a think about something to do with behind the scenes. Now, if you have a product based business, this is super easy, you can do like your product being made, you can do boxing, you can do unboxing, you can do packing orders, all that kind of thing, you know, so very, very simple. If you're a service based business, I think that we often believe that what we do is kind of boring, and that behind the scenes is not that interesting. But people are always fascinated as to how how do things get out into the world? What does that look like? So I want you to throw down some ideas when we're not actually creating the moment, throw down some ideas that would be a, a sneak peek behind the scenes on your product or service for the month of December.
Okay. So the next task that I want you to have a think about is in relation to your content, what are some quick tips that you can give them? So if it's a product, you can give people tips on how to use it, how to make it last longer, how to store it, how to get optimal value from it. If you're a service-based business, think about your theme for the month ahead and think about what tips you can give people that will help them understand that you're an expert in your area and that help them understand your offer. So why is that important? So again, I'm going to set the time for three minutes for question number three. Okay, so for our last idea, I want you to have a think about now if you already create certain types of content, you've got this covered, but we want to make sure we've got that covered in our um, long idea. So I want you to think about uh, if you do any video content, which can include reels, or you might have it on your YouTube channel. Um, if you do blogs already, this can be what a long post is. So it's just really the chance for you to dive into that topic for the month ahead. You only need to do one or two of these, so you don't need lots of ideas. So I'm going to get the time up for three minutes for this last one on page four.
Okay. So we're now going to move on and we're going to have a look at page five of the workbook. Now on this workbook, on this page, we've got some ideas for December. So obviously we've got Christmas and all that. But there are also lots of other things going on for the month of December. So I'd like you to have a little look at those ideas on the page. I want you to write down some that might be relevant to you and or your audience. Now, obviously bonus points if you can make it relevant to the theme for the month as ahead. So I'm going to set the timer for two minutes for this last task. Okay, so now we've come to the end of our content planning. I want to talk to you a little bit about where do we go from here. So what we have done is spent a good chunk of time today really thinking about what do we want to focus on for the month ahead in December. Now, really, you have laid the foundation in terms of your content planning. But what I want you to do is think about where do you go from here? So if you had time today, it would be ideal if you could sit down and probably spend an hour writing and even scheduling your content for the month. That is definitely my preference. But if you don't, there are a couple of ways in which you can use this classroom today. So I really want you to think about coming back to your plan that you've created today and thinking about how you're going to use that in your business. Now, either sit down once a week and write your plans out for the week ahead. So write your content and schedule them. It's much easier to do it for a week than to do it daily. I promise that. However, if you are really, really busy, you are not going to be sitting or down any time in the next four weeks thinking, I don't know what to post today. I want you to think about what can you post based on the activity that you've got in front of you that you can sit down and do each day. Remember, the idea is you're not out of ideas. You have just got a swag of ideas from today's planning class to help you with that. So that's going to make life a whole lot easier. So remember, if you can do it now and get it all done for the month ahead, great. If not, I want you to think about just doing um, a, a, like a week at a time or worst case, you're doing it every day. But remember, you're not stuck for ideas. You have all of the ideas in your hand now and you're going to follow that like a little guide for the rest of the month. Now, to end up today, I just want to talk briefly about the ASBAS Digital Solutions Program, of which I am a mentor for. So under this program, which is why today's class is free, you can access seven hours of personalized mentorship for $44. Now, this is made up of three hours of one-to-one -one and four hours of workshops and webinars. Now, the idea behind this, um, it was a program started by the federal government, is to increase your digital capabilities, i.e. to make you more confident with digital marketing in your business. So if you are interested to be eligible, you have to have an ABM registered in WA Queensland or the Northern Territory. You have to be running a for-profit business. And finally, you have to have less than 20 full-time employees. 
Now, if you would like to work with me, I would love to be your advisor. My areas of expertise include Facebook, Insta and Meta advertising and content, um, general content and Canva. I'm a Canva devotee, um, marketing and digital strategy. So um, we will be sending a link for you today. If you haven't used the digital solutions program, we would love to work with you. It would be amazing. Um, if you are interested, it, it'll be in your email and you can book in with me. You simply put me, Sarah Thompson, down as your preferred advisor, and then you'll be allocated to work with me one on one, which will be super fun. All right, so that brings us to a close for today's workshop. Thank you all for attending and um, for taking time out of your schedule to kind of get ahead of what's coming up for the month ahead. And I look forward to working with you all and wish you all a very, um, very exciting December and an amazing Christmas and whatever you have in store. See you later.